Shirt off. Y'all told me this song back in the day was played relentlessly on the radio. So that's cool too. The difference between American culture and UK culture. The closest you'll get to a Jesus song playing on the radio here is freaking like one, the Christian channel or two, country music. And ain't nobody trying to listen to no country music. The fact I filmed that whole intro looking like this is preposterous. All right, here we go. I'm blinded by your grace. I still don't get this whole part two stuff. Help me out, please. Ooh! We're gonna say it is the church. Shirt off. And we're gonna give God all the glory right now. We're giving God all the glory okay. right now. Let's go. Shame on me for lusting after this man when he's talking about God. And we're gonna give God all the glory right now. We're giving God all the glory right all now. All the Let's glory. Right <laughs> Help me out. No auto tune? He sounds just like the track. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Damn, look at that crowd. This is crazy. This reminds me of, like those African conventions my mom used to force me to go to, you know, Pentecostal, all that stuff. We'd be there until like 4 a.m. just praying all night. It's, it's cool to see that that's not so obtuse or my childhood when it comes to religion wasn't so obtuse if things like this can exist. You came and saved me. Yeah. His body's so nice. Woo. I'm dead. Did y'all see the back of Danvers? <laughs> they said. <laughs> That's so funny. But I feel like they're always going to be there for a reason. So at some point, we're going to get a choir moment in this performance. And I will, I will die. I'll die. Yeah. Ooh, harmonies. Ooh, look at the fireworks. Okay. The fact, that, the fact that they're giving so much production and energy to a, a church song or a Jesus song, whatever, a worship song, is extremely cool. And the fact that y'all told me this song back in the day was played relentlessly on the radio. So that's cool too. The difference between American culture and UK culture. The closest you'll get to a Jesus song playing on the radio here is freaking like, one, the Christian channel, or two, country music. And ain't nobody trying to listen to no country music. No offense. Look at that diversity in the crowd, too. I love it. You can't Look at him just, just watching what he's, what he's done. You have all these sinners, I say, in the crowd jamming out to a Jesus. It's like a come to Jesus moment, which I feel like 
makes him feel special because one maybe he's helping people and two he did it he's the one who did this like if it wasn't for Stormzy none of that would be happening you have these partiers and ravers who are probably weren't intending to go to that party to do Christianly things but now they're topless singing to Jesus it's better than being topless and sinning I guess also Stormzy's outfit reminds me of, like a jail jumpsuit I don't know if he was trying to paint an image with that or have any meaning behind that but I think it's cool a prison jumpsuit meaning like trouble criminal you know the menace of society still being able to be on stage and praise the Lord and evoke a lot of emotion from a whole crowd of people maybe I'm reading too into that but I think it's cool imagery is he crying Mmm, that run. His underwear says trap star. This is crazy. I'm getting freaking emotional from this performance. Reel it in, bitch. You came he just seems so proud. I love it. That was great. That was amazing. He almost had me at the end there. I'm not gonna lie. He almost forced me to shed a tear. Which I feel like just evokes the power. One, rap music, Stormzy, religion, gospel, all the 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 emotions they're able to evoke. Or what I don't know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> I love the shots of the crowd. How you saw the people actually genuinely it seemed enjoying that song and I still can't get past the fact that it's like a spiritual song a religious song an emotional song because you don't see things like that over here in the media if anything it's like I guess you'd be called a loser for listening to music like this over here anyway so again difference in culture I loved also how the stage set and the stage itself like the performance wasn't overly done like there weren't crazy lights everywhere there wasn't like auto-tune or like people twerk like which wouldn't even match I feel like the essence of the song but I like how simplistic and pure everything was it made the performance and the song hit even deeper I feel like by doing it that way the lady who belted out those vocals comment down her, her name because I want to give her some attention too because her part was amazing Overall, the entire performance, I feel like, was very nice. Now I need to see his performance of the song at the Brits 2019, 2018, whatever it was. I think we're going to do that one next, or if you guys want something else, let me know. I've been seeing a lot of comments about Lady Lyrsha, Queen's Speech Part 4, uh, Fire in the Booth by Avelino and Wretch32. Even someone named Ocean's Wisdom, I think is his name. So a lot of more UK rap reactions to come. I do also want to get back into the accents and differences in our language and English because y'all seem to enjoy those videos. And I do too because I get to see another part of y'all's culture. So more content to come. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you like this video. Let's get 400 likes. Like the fucking video, mate. Like the video or dislike it. Do something. Just do something. 
And make sure you head on down to the description where you'll get a link to the second channel and subscribe up there too if you like the content over there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or you can watch my K-pop video that I'm also going to upload later today if you want to. <laughs> Bye.